Do you want to be my vlog? I don't know if they can handle it. <laughs> you covered Wendy's head. There he is. Mm. Our cuddle boy in the morning. Hi everybody, it's 7.35 a.m. right now on Saturday. I'm laughing because Josiah is right here because in a minute <laughs> I'm going to show you all something that I haven't shown you in any other vlog, but I think that you all will know. Me? <laughs> no, not him. For so He's working a Saturday too. Did I mention that today's Saturday? So I have a little bit of a busy morning slash afternoon this Saturday, but the point of this vlog, B. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, it's definitely one of those mornings in this household today. Um, the point of this vlog is to take you through a busy Saturday when I am dun 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 nine months pregnant. <laughs> Blood twist. <laughs> so take it to, to show them. Didn't see that one coming. So basically, I think it looks weird at that angle. Oh, so is my chin. Okay, so yes, basically, by the time this vlog comes out, I'm pretty certain that you all know that I'm pregnant and had a baby and all of that stuff anyways, but throughout all of my vlogs that I've been doing, throughout most of my YouTube videos, I um, have been pregnant. We found out that we were pregnant in December, and we just wanted to kind of keep it quiet and on the down low and more to ourselves, but... Um, now that I'm getting close to the end, how far along am I? Almost 38 weeks? Really far. Okay. I'm like a day shy of 38 weeks. So I'm still like working full time and everything like that. And um, the farther along I have been getting with this pregnancy, the more tired I've been getting, the more miserable I've been getting, the harder it's been to actually like work, especially right now because it is summer and it is hot outside. So I have two burials of cremated remains today and I have a service. I had to think about it, baby brain. See, I can say that now. Now you all understand like why I am the way I am in these vlogs. But um, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet. It's okay, you look great, hun. So, yeah, th today's vlog is going to take you through um, what it's like to have a busy Saturday when you are nine months pregnant. And this will be probably the only time you see Josiah, so make sure you get your fill. What? I'm going to be at work, and so are you. Oh, for this vlog you meant? Yes. Can't you come to Niagara Falls? No. Okay, so also, just a little side note, since I have Josiah here to help me film, I wanted to talk about what I've been wearing since I've been nine months pregnant, and I have not bought any maternity outfits because they're expensive and I'm cheap and I refuse to, and <laughs> I actually got this dress, which is maternity, from a cousin of mine who had a baby two years ago, so she let me borrow it, and this is what I have been wearing for all of my funeral services since I've been like six months pregnant because it just completely grows with me. So I always wear this dress and then I will throw on a blazer that I have, which looks kind of ridiculous in the grand scheme of things just because it do it fits me when I'm not pregnant so it doesn't close and things like that. But it is what it is. When you're this pregnant and still working, you make it work. So there you go. It is 8.02 in the morning. I just got to the funeral home. I got my coffee. I feel like in this vlog I can be honest with you guys since I started it the way that I started it. Um, a little secret, all of those Tim Hortons and coffee runs that I have made in my other vlogs, they've all been decaf coffee since I am pregnant which if you all want to know why I'm always tired well besides for working a ton um, it's because I can't have my regular caffeine my doctor told me when I got pregnant to limit uh, my caffeine if not completely negate it from my diet which I know decaf coffee still has like a minuscule amount of caffeine in it so I gotta have at least the taste it at least messes with my mind enough to make me feel like okay I'm a little bit more awake I can do this so I just got to the funeral home 
Um, and I am going to go inside. So the main thing that I have to do right now this morning is finish setting up for a funeral service that is going to be today at one o'clock. The family's coming in at 1215. Um, so let me walk you through my morning a little bit because in a perfect world, this is going to work out to the T. So, um, I have a burial of cremated remains at 10 o'clock this morning. So I'm going to take cremated remains to the cemetery, meet a family, and there's a minister who's going to be there who's going to do a little funeral service. Just about two miles up the road, there's another cemetery that I'm going to be doing a burial of cremated remains for at 11 o'clock. So if the service at 10 goes about a half an hour, I'm going to make it perfectly in time to the second burial but Keith is being a backup for me just in case my 10 o'clock one runs late because the nature of this business that would just be my luck but in a perfect world it's going to work out like to the T where I'm going to leave the one cemetery and then head over to the second one right down the road for the burial at 11. Then for the service that's going to be here at the funeral home at one o'clock uh the family is actually going to be coming in at 12 15 to set up a couple of things and to sit down and talk with the minister about the services the minister will be in about 12 30 because they haven't had any additional services so they want to make certain that the service goes exactly how they like to and this minister is so wonderful i love him he does such a fabulous job so once again like if everything goes according to plan i'm going to be able to go from like one two three and it's going to be great and i'm going to be on time and i'm not going to have any sort of hiccups but i want to get in early this morning just to set up for that one o'clock in the event that i am running late so then in the back of my mind i'm not freaking out or rushing back here to the funeral home so that is where we are this morning i will try to keep you all updated as best as i can if i do start to run late i might not be able to vlog as much as i'd like to with these little updates but i will try my best it's 8 31 in the morning i just finished setting up everything for the uh, service at one o'clock. The only thing that I'm missing are the flowers, but it's Saturday, so they'll probably get here in a little bit because it's only 8.30 in the morning. So as soon as the flowers get in, that's gonna be the last piece of the puzzle that I have to set up for that service, um, which is great because basically I want to already start heading over by like nine o'clock-ish to the cemetery for the burial of cremated remains, just so I can get there a little bit early, find the grave, make certain everything is good over there because the family was asking uh, I guess they had some people who weren't certain where the gravesite was in the cemetery, so I told them that I would be there parked with my car, so if people are driving around, I could kind of flag them down and show them where to go to. So that is what I'm doing right now. That's what I've been up to. And there you go. It's 9.29 a.m. I'm kind of hiding off to the side because some people are already here for the service. So I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of information so they can't see me. But we're waiting for the rest of the family and the minister to come here to the gravesite. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll start the gravesite service. I'm melting. I'm literally melting. So I have my air conditioner on as high as it can be. It's 10.31 right now. The service at the cemetery has just ended. Um, perfect timing so I am on my way to my second cemetery for my 11 o'clock service and hopefully I don't melt anymore because this makeup you know I need like some setting spray or something out there <laughs> but um yeah everything went over well over here the family was really happy with everything and now we'll go serve family number two. Oh my gosh okay oh. it's 11 38 a.m. So, oh God, what the hell are you doing now? I'm vlogging. Keith, are you in a bad mood? So Keith, stupid. Josiah told me that I should do a Keith count for how many times he's in a bad mood in my vlog. So, should I put a Keith <laughs> count right now? I'm in a bad okay. mood. It's just, I'm hot. I'm hot too. So, um, we're just leaving the cemetery now. Good thing Keith was here actually because. Yeah, um, the good. service at the 11 o'clock one actually started earlier, so he was here while I was on my way over. But um, where we were supposed to be doing the entombment or inurnment, there was actually another funeral coming in. So, like, our family said some prayers and then stepped off to the side, and then we had to wait for the other funeral to say some prayers, and then that's why it kind of took a little bit longer over here. 
Yes, air conditioning. It is hotter than blazes though. Weird, weird lighting, weird lighting. So Keith is now dropping me off in my car and we're going back to the funeral home for our one o'clock service. So Keith just honestly dropped me off at my car and now I'm on my way back to the funeral home too. But I just want to say this very quickly because I didn't say it in that last little video. Um, the hardest thing about being pregnant and working is I think in at least for my situation is this heat because right now it's August it is hotter than blazes and that's one thing that I've noticed with my pregnancy is that I have not had a lot of complications thank the Lord I've had a pretty easy pregnancy in the grand scheme of things but anytime I'm at a cemetery because I'm in like my full sport coat and suit and um, I'm wearing black and it's just been so hot this summer that it actually makes me feel nauseous so I always have with me like a huge thing of water to try and stay hydrated so yeah that's just all I want to say I'm on my way back to the funeral home now we'll make certain that everything's set up for that other service and I will keep you all updated 11:57. we just I say we because Keith is here too we just pulled into the funeral home so honestly like everything is really going perfectly for this morning for us we're gonna go inside we're gonna set up some flowers we're gonna make certain everything is clean and ready to go for the one o'clock service 1.53 p.m. The service just ended. Um, I'm just basically doing a quick cleanup. Not, we have cleaners who come to the funeral home after services, but I'm just doing like a quick little cleanup and shutting off all the lights and then I will be leaving the funeral home. Okay, so it's just about two o'clock right now. Um, I always feel more comfortable talking when I'm in my car. I don't know if it's because like I know I'm alone. I know nobody's gonna be walking in on me and finding myself talking to my phone because it's a little awkward when you're just holding your phone up and talking to it. But uh, everything for this one o'clock service went so unbelievably well. We got one of my favorite ministers who always does such a phenomenal job with funeral services and memorial services. So the family was so happy with everything that he had done for them. And I am now just in my car. I'm heading on home. I'm tired. Um, I am feeling, since in this vlog I'm talking about my pregnancy, <laughs> I am feeling a little bit nauseous, uh, which I knew I was going to, unfortunately, just because of the amount of time that I did spend in the heat at the cemeteries. And if you, if anybody ha like watching this now has watched my previous vlogs, you kind of see that I eat a lot throughout them. At least I think that like, I notice it maybe I notice it because I knew I was pregnant when I was editing those vlogs but regardless uh, typically I try to constantly have like some sort of like power bars or you know not like a power bar but something that I can eat just because I am 38 weeks pregnant <laughs> and I have not really had anything all day so far so I think that that's kind of not making me feel 100% either but that's okay because we did all the services we have everything done so now hopefully I just get to go home and relax for the rest of the day and then wake up and come back to work tomorrow so uh, once again I hope that you all enjoyed this vlog if you liked it you can always give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that I put out in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.